Out of timeouts. Tillman's coming again. Randall inside the 15 slides. Will he get the spike off? One play. One play. One seam. What is up with these guys? Super bummer, dude. Vols hate is crazy. If you're a real Vols hater, you'd be voting against them here in our daily bet right now. As we got 26 people that like Vols, only 16 that like Wesley. The money's about even. We're over a million channel points bet right now, boys. Just working for it. There it go. Nice, nice, nice. I don't hear shit, though, but you know. All right. Looks like Vols got the ball. Starting early, boys. Love to see it. Who needs game sound? I'll mess with it when we get a little break. But Vols is a quick snap lord. We see Wesley in the dollar, and he gets him. Oh, that was that was big right there, though. That was nice defense from Wes. Vols is going to want a quick snap here in this bunch. He's got the Dallas Cowboys jerseys. Where's my cam? See, I don't, I mean, I'm not really, I mean, here we go. Weak blitz, okay. Oh, he knows how to dive. Hold on. You guys don't need to see me. Uh, I don't know when Vols is at a live event. Apparently, it's not his first live event. Apparently, it's not, but I don't remember. I remember he was, like, drafted to play in the, uh, the 3v3 jump. Okay, glitched him. Got a third and two here for Vols. Big third and two. Auto motion play. Good throw right there. Gets the read. Easy, quick. Dot over the middle. Snap throw. d 52 months in the building. Love to see it. Cowboys club champion. Yeah, I mean, well, club championship. I mean, that shouldn't even count, really. Oh, big shed up the middle. 93 is who? Oh, Dwight Freeney at D-tackle, it looks like. Dwight Freeney at D-tackle. So here we go. Second and 15. Bowles with Cunningham. Looks like Ecky Woods. Dot over the middle to George Kittle. And he's got a spin move. Wow. Just no see a lot. Like, we talked about being on conservative, being able to juke. That would open my eyes up right away. I can't lie. As a defensive player, I would be kind of excited that he's not playing on conservative. And the fact that he dove not on conservative earlier is questionable, too. Another quick snap. Beam over the middle. So, we'll see if that... Oh, he's switching on and off, it looks like here, from Vos. He's switching on and off conservative. He's got the uh, identifier activated here. Auto motion play early. Oh, he got him. Easy. Let's go, Vos. Right up top. Quick touchdowns. Quick drive for Vos. Looked like he got sacked twice on that drive. Still was able to convert with a lot of seam passes, dude. That is like, I mean, one of the, the calling cards of Madden 25 right now. Especially since, especially since the last patch, man. The seams are so much more open. The seams are so much more locked in. They're so much easier to throw, so to speak, for the offensive player here. And we'll see. Wesley get the ball right here. Icky Woods got that tank ability pre-lit. So he won't get hit stick. Breaks the tackle. Gets the ball up. Past the 40-yard line. Big return from Icky Woods. Pro tip, boys. If you guys are at home, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you get your running backs as kick returners. One, they're probably the fastest on your team. They probably have the best ball carry moves. And most importantly, they have the best carry rating. So if you do get hit stick on kickoffs, they won't fumble as easily, boys. The whole tournament is tonight. We see Vos is going to run that 3-3 that three, three odd. As we see, Wesley was in a little more meta with the conventional dollar defense. Vols is going to run that 3-3 odd. What you got to pay attention to is how is Wesley going to block this outside linebacker on the right side? He IDs him. Oh, he IDs the outside corner here, but he doesn't block anybody. But he has good protection that time. Ooh. Good protection. little disengage off that edge there for Vols. But long as he can block that linebacker, he will be okay. Pay attention to that. The way I like to play this defense is really quick snap. It takes a lot of adjusting players and things like that. But Wesley is not into that going to the end. Once again, that guy's coming off that edge. Underneath to Icky Woods. Bounces off one hit stick with that tank ability. We're going to get a, a third and short here for Wesley. 
Shout out to my man Steeler fan with the tier one. Remember, man, if you guys don't want ads, you guys don't want none of that, you can hit the sub. Amazon Prime is a free sub. Make sure you guys head on over to Amazon Prime, link your Twitch and your Amazon. You'll get a free sub you can use here. A lot of pressure from Vos. Big dot from Wesley. Great read. Had a lot of stuff underneath as well. You see Vos clicking around, not really ready for that snap. I would say the quick snap's one of the best weapons against this 3-3 odd here. It's Randall Cunningham in the gun. Right there, he's going to quit. He's going to audible. He's going to flip. He's IDing that outside linebacker. Vos sends a lot of pressures. Woohoo! Seam route as we see Vos on that five foot ten. Pat Tillman is he 5'10", 5'11"? He's five something. If you're in that new Israel, what's his name, Mukamura? You guys are earning tonight. That might have been an interception. Well, I'd always prefer a taller user in those situations. Ooh, nice throw. Can he get inside? Right. Oh, oh. Ah. Pause, but you know, inside the three yard line here, second and one. Whole playbook's open here for Wesley. Shout my man 12 with the get this. Stepping with love with a tier one. Let's go. How do you check if you're getting? You got to make sure you guys are at my the home page. Check on over. Click your link. I'll show you guys how to do it in just a second when this drive is over. Nick, well, you do have a switch prime. Here we go. Underneath. Ooh, good defense right there from Vols making that play. No huddle right to the line. Let's see if Wesley goes back to that fullback dive. Icky Woods, the Icky Shuffle. Can he shuffle into the end zone? Motion right to left. Wow. That dude just Jimmy Grammed out of the gym. That's what he used to do. Shout out to Man 17 when I won my belt back when I didn't have any gray hairs. And I had hair. Jimmy Graham literally won those plays for us. Let me show you guys how you guys can make sure you guys are getting these. Head on over here. You want to make sure you're at this screen. Click your little profile right here. Go down here, drops and rewards right here. You click this, brings you to this screen. Am I getting, oh, I get this, oh, switch prac. But Madden right here, claim the Israel Mukamura. I don't know, but you get your percentages on all the drops. Make sure you guys are hitting claim once you hit the percentages, boys. All right, yeah, I got a lot of drops. Oh, I got some, nice. Got some COD drops. I need to start claiming drops some more, boys, huh? Not bad, huh? Little check-in right here as I mean, high scoring game right here between Abram and uh, Henry is going to be 14 14 right now. Let's check back in our feature game as we also see uh, what's that look like? David T is up by seven. Lambo's up by seven as well. Boys, we're going to head on back over. Oh, we got volume somehow now. Are we lit? Oh, not nah, uh, fight, 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 fight. 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 Oh, we're back. Volume's gone, but we're back. What else matters? Vos across midfield already. He's going to take a big sack right here on second and 15, though. Third and 21, we see a huge shed by Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons, that's the one guy. It's tough to leave one-on-one. -on -one. Vos, third and 21. Remember, he got a fourth and 17 to get him to this live event here. Let's see if he can try to... I, I would try to hit a drag... Maybe in the field goal range, man, but we'll see what he tries to do here. Oh, good switch stick. Drops the ball. Great quick switch stick there by Wesley. Could have got a pick. Fourth and 21 for Vols here. This is a tough spot. Uh, some would punt here, but definitely not worth it. Got to try to get. Let's see if he quick snaps flood and just tries to seam something up. And you got to ask yourself, how is Wesley going to stop that quick seam? He's got three streaks. He's going to find somebody, right, boys? Maybe, oh, a deep in route right there. I don't think we'll ever have time to throw that, but. Oh, no, he sent enough people right there. Wesley gets a big stop. There's no volume button, Maddie. Like, Maddie. Oh, dude, please. I mean, I promise you. I got it under control here. So now Vo is going to stand up for himself. Get some decent blocking here again. See, Wesley's kind of... This is kind of what I, I always... Out, I, I do the outside corner. You guys you guys watching at home, boys, man. If you're having trouble with edge pressure, sometimes if you watch these players and watch me and watch everybody do it, you'll ID the outside corner all the way on the sideline. Because you want your... you If you're getting hit by the edge pressure, 
You want to ID somebody all the way on the outside so your O line goes all the way outside just to make sure you contain that edge pressure. And that's what Wesley's doing here in the first quarter, enabling him to block DeVoe's blitz. Excuse me. And then get some time to move the ball down the field as he's already crossed midfield here. Gets a stop and gets the ball to half. Let's see how he chooses to manage the clock right here. <clears throat> and the other thing about the 3 3 odd. You guys got to see, man. It's what they do is they put contains on the defensive end, so you you don't really want to drop back too far or get glitched. You want to kind of just snap, and you see he's standing right there. He's just you know he has the ability to run. Don't drop back too far. For all you weekend league warriors and mutt champs veterans, man, one of the best skills you can have is being patient in the pocket and being calm in the pocket. If you're panicking, if you're uneasy, you're dropping back. Blitzes like this will really hurt you, and you can just watch. Wesley's mechanics at, as quarterback as he's sending out five again against this. Just what I said, that time literally backed up a little bit too far, bounced off some players, and those contains got to him. It's tough when you're sending out five. You know somebody's going to get after you. Now here we go. He's going to audible over here to that patented trips Y flex. Or trips tight end flex Y. Oh, good read. Good dot. Great. Oh, he didn't get in right there. Fourth and two. This is a big spot. Vos can get that stop back right here, right now. He got to lock it in, figure it out. Fourth and two is really tough spot. You know he's not going to run the ball. So here he goes. Back to the good old trips tight end flex. He's going to rely on this. Oh, no. He's in bunch nasty here. He just flipped the play. A whip route. Taking his time. Not blocking anybody here. Good defense. Good switch stick. Oh, not enough, though. And Randy Moss is going to get in the end zone. Once again, no pressure. Able to ID that outside right corner. DeVos Blitz did not get in there. Low-key Wesley had a lot of time right there. It was good coverage. Just He went through his progressions left to right and was able to hit that post back over the middle for the touchdown. Now, Vos is going to have to score here to, uh, whatchamacallit, to tie the game up. Boys, who did you guys bet on? The bets are still live. That's live betting right now. I mean, Wesley's odds are probably plummeting as there's 39 total bettors on her. 48 people like Vos. My man, Taller Court put 250K on him. Highest better for Wesley is God given with 235,000 channel points. Almost 2 million channel points bet on Wesley. Only 1 million bet on Vos. That makes Vos a 3 to 1 underdog right now. Vos is a seam god. I'll tell you that. Oh. Why you update David T has just caught an interception against Mr. Football 88, so he has an upper hand there. Uh Abram is down by seven to Henry, but he does have the ball here, boys. Oh my goodness. Vols just peppers the scene, dude. He is a snap throw lord. You know, so for me, I don't I don't really know how to stop that. If it makes any sense. You know, would you put yellow zones out there? Would you put man ups out there? Like, essentially, a lot of the game now has come down to like cover four. So you don't really have a lot of underneath zones. Yeah, I'm not really a seam door. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a route, but he's looking for it. Good block. Oh, no, not the best blocking underneath Icky Woods inside the 20. Vols is going to have to. Vols is going to have to score pretty quickly here. Or try to at least. Flipping a bunch. Same. So always want to motion out right here. Haven't really seen one one run play from these guys. Good man's up the tight end. Good job by Wesley there. If you saw that Fred Warner card. Manned up on George Kittle, not letting him hit that seam up the middle, taking away the middle of the field there. Mid read zone does a really good job. Score quickly because you're going to have to punt the ball back or give the ball back to him. And that will kind of, you got to kind of think about the next possession a little bit. I mean, good dot underneath. I mean, he's definitely probably not going to get the ball again. And one of my philosophies, this in my. In my uh, you think about this, K Glover is that when I'm losing and Vos is losing, 
Not only is he losing the game, he's losing the possession battle because Wesley will get the ball at half. When you're losing, like just the scenario of the game, what you want to do is you want to make sure the game is as long as possible, as many possessions as possible. Because the more possessions you have, the more opportunities you have to get back in the game, really. And that's what you're going to want. I mean, he could, he could not. But you got to make it. All right, Cake Lover, you should honestly have your own stream talking about the game. You know, because you're kind of, you know, going crazy. Um, individual streams are uh, on four different channels. I have this game, Vols vs. Wesley. Clef has TJ uh, uh, Abram versus Henry, which is a great game. I believe uh, Slim Ghost has Lambo versus TJ, two great players, and Skimbo is going to have David T versus what's him called? Skimbo on David T versus um, eighty eight, which is a good one. It's it's really going to be tough here to for Vos to settle for a field goal. It really is. I mean. You know, you can't get too cute here. These games, with how good people are on offense, uh, you're really going to... These games are going to come down to these last two minutes and a half, last two minutes of the game, really. Foles is going to take a sack here. Wesley might use a timeout. He's going to let it rock. As we see, um, David T is closing out the second half, up by seven as well with the football. Looks like Abram just tied Henry up. They're tied 21-21. Here we go. Tight shotgun here. Little Willie. He blocks it pretty well, but he gets hit throwing the ball. He's going to have to kick this field goal. I think, yeah. And a field goal is tough here, but a lot of people, like, don't realize when you kick that field goal, what's going to happen is that's going to allow you to give up a field goal, if that makes sense, right? It's going to allow you to give up a field goal. Had you went for that and you're kicking and you give the ball back to Wesley 14-7, a field goal kind of ends ends a lot of stuff. So it's it's always good when you're on defense and you know that you can you can give up a field goal. It makes playing defense a lot less stressful. When you can't even give up a field goal, that's that's a tough spot to be on defense. But this game is, this minute 27 is going to be a big deal here going forward for this football game. If Wesley can come somehow make a play or catch a pick, oh, he doesn't catch the pick right there on the sack. That's the pressure that Vose is looking for out of this 3-3. He's looking for that type of immediate pressure. If he gets that, he's going to have a good time playing defense. So we'll see once again, watch that outside linebacker on the right. That's pretty much, he only drops him that time into coverage. Actually, great defense here. He's going to be able to scramble and get nine, though. That's why you have a mobile quarterback, boys. Gets nine, third and one. Tough. One of those best snaps of defense right there. Man, I'm saying it's trip flex. I thought it was bunch. I thought every game was bunch. Is it trips flex now? Oh, a corner route up top. Moss could be crib. Could be crib. Got to make a tackle here. You got to try to click on there. It is out of bounds. I, I, me personally, I would mix in a run right here because just to make Vols either use a timeout or run the clock or something. I wouldn't. That's just me though. I'm an old man. I guess it's just not how these guys play the game anymore. But doesn't look a bad play here. He's gonna get pressure off that edge. Throw away. How he doesn't get uh, you know. Close to intention grounding for me. That's what I mean. Like, <clears throat> I, I, I'm I'm old. I would definitely just run an inside zone and move clock here. But good switch. Oh, no, 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 no. oh my goodness! Such a difference in the game right now. In every game that you watch, is who's going to catch those tip picks? Who's going to get the perfect animation? The perfect catch for D line. Here we go. But during 10, Wesley has used no clock. He's made Vos use no timeouts right here. So let's see if he can score a touchdown. Randall Cunningham dropping back. Vos getting good pressure again. He has to slide in bounds and he doesn't. 
Spec Wesley just take three, go up by seven. Huge turn of events right there, man. He doesn't get any timeouts off the board. Only runs about 13 seconds off the clock right there. Not going to finish the half with the football. Kind of, and this is why I told you guys, man, I'm an old man, 37. First and goal right there. I would have definitely run the ball. Vols would have used timeouts. Worst case scenario for me, I would have went in the half 17 to 10 and getting the ball back. Uh, by by just extending this first half, that's going to allow Vos to get back into a game he was behind in. And that's where I goes to my point of where when I'm losing, I want to extend the game as long as I can. And when I'm winning, it's the exact opposite. For me, when I'm winning, I want the game to end. I want to just get out of there as fast as possible. When I'm losing, complete opposite. Extend the game, extend the game, extend the game. And that sequence right there could get Vols back into it if he's able to do something with the ball. Even a field goal here is huge. You know, but, and and this is where the runoff plays a difference, man. You got to get out of bounds. You got to use your timeouts, really. I think any play over 10 yards is cool. Beautiful. I would use a timeout right there. Yep, good job by Vos. Free 10 yards, you take it. Use your timeout. And this is often where I will definitely pepper the flats, get out of bounds for eight yards, get out of bounds for eight yards, get out of bounds for eight yards. Don't just look downfield. Oh, big sack. The boys are shedding. I would use my timeout. Yep. I mean, Dwight Freeney, he's got right there at the tackle, has made some big plays here. As I, I like to see what these guys do against different. Are they double teaming? Are they sliding? Looks like Vols is nothing. I don't know what he's doing. Because those are one things I like to kind of steal. Like, what are these guys doing? And he gets set. Oh, he throws the ball up again. Now he's in a really bad spot. <sighs> I mean, maybe that sack, he should have let the clock run a little bit. But he quick snaps right here. Got to go underneath. That's where Wesley's going to use a timeout. This is this is a, a pivotal play right here. You know, you can't, I mean... It's just tough. He might quick snap right here again. He is quick snap. Let's see what he got. Ooh, patent it throw right there. Let's see if he spikes or he goes. It goes right to the spike. Only a little bit of runoff. 18 seconds. That is uh, everybody's favorite little seam throw right there in this bunch strong. The outside fade guy. Yeah, I mean, Vose is like. Vose is a seam merchant. I don't know how. I could never play like this. I'm so bad at the game. Motions out the running back. This is where you got to get out of bounds. I feel like you can hit something over the middle and get field goal range, and he's going to try that. Spike, 15 seconds, runoff is going to kill him, I think, right here. Oh, he gets a beautiful spike. That's huge. Way to get to the line. Cowboys able to get that spike with two, two seconds left. A real man would run a fake field goal here for a touchdown. Let's see what Vo's got. He missed the kick a little bit. Could be blocked here. Pay, put, see, I put that in my back pocket for later. Wesley went for the field goal block. Wesley went for the field goal block. You gotta you gotta stash that in your back pocket later in the game. That could come into a big situation, boys. Just saying. That was big there. So here we are, boys. I mean, Wesley, it could have been 17-0, boys. It, or it could have been 17-10 for free. Easily could have been 17-10. I'm really not. If you guys don't pay attention to when your uh, your opponent tries to block field goals, you don't. Some people go with the safe man every time. Some people try to block every single time. You got to pay attention to that because that field goal run. Oh, my goodness. That's I, I, like no troll. That snap that snap field goal or the, where they snap the ball and roll out with the fast dude. Oh, that's a, that's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. It's literally a touchdown. I mean, I got to stop getting off this camera here. Oh, we're at halftime here. Let's check in right now as we can. Check in with TJ Lambo. Similar situation. Uh, we're at the 40 yard line. I don't know why you have a kicker that can't kick this right here. Motion's out. TJ. I don't like his gaming position to be locked in. Don't really like it here. Blitzes everybody. That's just atrocious defense. Uh, just absolutely atrocious defense. Oh. Let's let him do that. I, I might have ran just two men under right there. Can't lie. But I think he could have already made that field goal. They're good to go. Here we go, boys. 
from Moss. Wesley with the ball here, up by four. A touchdown here would be big for him. Icky Woods in the backfield. He's got that route, nice little flat route. Make him put a hard flat over there. Good read, boys. That's the one thing about these bunch. One thing about these bunch nasties, bunch tight, bunch strong. Those slot receivers can go on flat routes. Sometimes when they're outside receivers, they can't go on flat routes. He's able to utilize that flat route to make sure he gets a big play there, and he does. Underneath drag route, Jalen Hyatt. Good stick work, gets some extra yards. I mean, these guys do have similar haircuts. Flips the route again. He's going for a big play with this Lions playbook. This is one of the big plays in their playbook. Let's see if he can get the protection and look down the field for that Randy Moss card. He's blitzing a little bit too much to do that. Yep. Vols keeping the pressure up, man. It hasn't worked the best, but the thing about when you're a pressure player, you got to stay true to what brought you here. And that five man, four man pressure, man. You can't, you can't take your pedal off the metal and that saved them giving up a play right there. Flat route, Wesley missed it that time. Throws into traffic, Randy Moss makes the catch, but only for one yard. Big third down out here coming from West. Obviously, man, if you guys are new to the Madden community scene, most of these times it's four down territory. So just think of this as a second and nine if you're a regular football watcher here. As Wesley will undoubtedly go for this fourth down, kind of regardless. Only rushes four, good protection, drag underneath. Tillman makes the hit, but Moss holds on. Fourth and three. Chance for Vols to get right back in this game or take the advantage in this game here. Fourth down, fourth and three. Randall Cunningham in that bunch, nasty. Flips the play. I assume Vols is going to bring high pressure here on fourth down. Let's see if he can block right now. Oh, oh no. Oh, and Vols bags on fourth down. What a defensive stand by Vols. Fourth and three. Wesley, I mean, he missed some reads, I thought. Like, I feel like he had the tight end over the middle for a quick throw. That pressure just making him a little unsure about himself. And Vols is able to get that big stop right there. Vols back to doing what he does. Pepper the seam, throw at the seam. Ha, 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 ha. Like, I just feel like eventually he's going to throw a big interception on these snap throws. Like... Let's see what Vols goes into the trips tight end here. Snaps the ball. Beautiful defense. Three-man rush. Another sack from Tillman. Going crazy. Third and 19. Nothing makes me more mad is when I get sacked and they get, get me stuck in this little replay right here. Three-man rush. Here we go. He's going to quick snap flood here. This Vols, oh no, he's going to motion him out, I think. Here we go. Third and 19, Randall making the calls. Beautiful defense, drag on the knee. Got to make a tackle here. He gets some yards, fourth and seven. Is Vos a no huddle guy? No. So we've seen Wesley come up short on fourth down. Can Vos convert a big fourth down here on the midfield stripe here? Mid third quarter here, fourth and seven for Vos. Randall cutting him at the helm. Motions Icky Woods left to right out of the backfield. Another snap throw seen from Vols. If he sees it, he lets it fly. Nothing stopping him from seeing that seam in the middle of the field. As I would say, at least half of his completions are just seams right in the middle of the field here. And he goes motions to the bunch nasty again. Cooking dots. Let's see if he keeps that auto motion. He does. Left to right. It's decent protection. Whip route underneath Jalen Hyatt. Big hit from Cam Chancellor. But Jalen Hyatt picks up seven. Vols does not sub Jalen Hyatt out of the game. That's what I would have did after a big hit like that. But, you know, he's rocking and rolling right now. He's locked and loaded. Auto motion with Hyatt again. Left to right. Good lurks right there. Good lurk. Good switch stick. Gets a sack again for Vols. Taking a lot of sacks in this game. Getting himself in precarious offensive positions but he's been able to find himself out of those bags by these seam passes quick snap again it's covered but he reads a great read right there man 
Wesley, put a vert hook, put a yellow zone to stop the seam. But when you put that yellow zone, what do you give up? The quick flat. Bowles is able to pick that up. Good read there on third down. Flips the bunch strong. I don't think we've seen one running play from these guys today. I really am an old man. I hate running, but when I get in big games, man, I like to just get some easy yards every once in a while. Inside the 10, Icky Shuffle, Icky Woods. Beautiful drive looking right here from Bowles. He's locked and loaded. Let's see what he's got here. Inside the seven, can we get Icky Woods the ball involved? Maybe a little inside zone RPO action. He's looking for Jackson Smith and Jigba here. Back of the end zone on the left side. Could be a pick. Oh my goodness. Normally, when I see people run that, I see them let that out route develop towards the sideline a little bit more. Bowles tried to hit it in the seam for the most part. Was not able to come up with that. Another sack right here. Tillman's actually nine sacks? You've taken nine sacks? What is this, the Cleveland Browns? I can't, what? That's insane. <laughs> here we go, red zone defense, man. Third and goal here. Looking for Kittle right up the middle, but you see Wesley's user at Fred Warner right there in the middle there. He could hit Icky Woods to the right. He's all over those seam passes. All in another. Pat Tillman is going crazy. We're going to have to drug test him tomorrow, dude. Pat Tillman might have seven sacks himself. Once again, you're losing. You kick this, you kick this right here to keep yourself down one point. Now, what that does is that if he scores a touchdown, you'll still be down one possession. So that's why you kick that field goal right there. Give yourself life, man. Just You gotta keep staying alive in the game. You can't put the whole game down to one fourth and goal from the 13th. And listen, man, I, I just gotta question the play calling from both of these guys inside the 10. Like you gotta have some inside zone or some stretch or dive or duo that's gonna get you a couple yards and get you closer to the end zone, you know? Both of these guys have not seemed too good inside the red zone here. It is the toughest spot to pass. So all things considered, you know, it's tough to say. Let's see, it looks like Wesley's gonna mix in the first run of the game here. Auto motion Kittle. Let's see how many yards he gets. I mean, almost, chat, it's almost as if he should have went to that call earlier in the game, boys. Just saying, boys, just, I'm just saying, I mean, I have more belts than both of these guys combined, you know? Maybe you got to mix in a couple little handoffs here and there. You're not, not saying the whole game. Every once in a while. Better game management. I I mean, it would be it'd take a miracle to kill off five seconds, five minutes here in this game. I think Wesley wants a touchdown to take this eight point lead. <sighs> Tough, could have been a sack there, honestly. Mmm, got threatened to run. I d there it is, there's that linebacker. There's that linebacker we talked about all day. We talked about that linebacker all day. He's able to finally get his first sack of the game. And it's a big one. Getting getting our boy Wesley the third and 12 here, boys. Back in the bunch, drinking the punch. Is he gonna motion out Icky? He's got Icky on the wheel route. Motion Metcalf, right to left. Kittle, oh, what a big catch by Kittle. We've seen him as the number one tight end the entire day. If you're gonna, if he's gonna get any type of catching in traffic with one player, he's pretty much gonna come down with the ball right there. That's just what Kittle does here in this game. Big third and 12 for Wesley on that wheel route in front of his own right there. This is where I would mix in a run. He could, he honestly could have took 15 more seconds off the clock. He could have, but Wesley does have a feeling like if I get a touchdown, the game's over. You kind of get that feeling, you know? Here we go. Someone just yelled, hell no, in the background. Sound like Henry. Here comes that run I asked about last. The clock's not running right now, so. RPO out there. He's 
second in inches. Vo's drinking the punch. Can he hold the door here? Motions out again. Goes back to that wheel route play he hit earlier. He's got B. Just throw it. There you go. Nice throw by Randall on the run. Gets the first down. Wesley inside the 15-yard line here. What I mean, Vos is definitely going to get the ball back, man. No matter what. He has all his timeouts. There's plenty of time. The, the clock... The clock's a factor, but it's not really. Somebody's really hollering in the background. Wesley likes this setup right here. Good read. Lucky animation. That's one where I catch and they're out of bounds. You know? I No, right, boys? We throw that and they're out of bounds, everything. But here we go. I mean, Wesley, we've seen him down here before. No running plays. Second and four. Looking for a little uh, flood on the left side here. Flood concept. <sighs> Goes back to the flat. Picks up a couple. Third and two. Wesley does not want to kick a field goal here. But he doesn't want to lose from the field goal. So I can see a situation where he does kick a field goal. As Vos looks like he's switched into the 6 1 here. Maybe he likes the coverage a little bit better. Maybe he might get a little better pressure from a three man rush here or four man rush. I don't think Wesley was ready for this. He's going to actually audible to a run because he was not ready. And there we go. Best play in the red zone all day. Wesley was not ready for the 6 1 call, wasn't sure of his pass play. That's why I always love to keep a run in the audibles just in case you're a little panicky. He didn't want to use a timeout. And like I said, if I'm if I'm playing shotgun runs, I always stand on the weak side. That way I can kind of, you know, flood, flow strong side to stop those runs. So here we go. He's going back to this fullback that we saw earlier in the game. Can Bowles get a stop here? Big job getting right up the middle there with that Fred Warner. And Wesley's going to go right back to it. No huddle to this fullback dive. Oh, no. He audibles to something else. Maybe stretch left. It is stretch left. And Amon Green, that new legend, gets in there for Vos. Does Wesley... Uh, going for two right here ends the game. But Wesley's rather go up by eight. That way he can't lose the game here no matter what. Here we go. Vos, drive of his life. Moment of his life. He said that run versus Kobo was the drive of his life. This is it right here. This is mom spaghetti time. Down by eight. Yeah, this has to be the last drive of the game, right? Oh, there it is. That's the Vos special. Snap throw. Let's see if he starts cooking, quick snapping. You got to be, right, listen, you got to be, these are tough spots because you kind of got to put everything on that two-point conversion, man. I might even hurry up in case I don't get the two ball to my That was just great. Drops it, the lineman on Willie. Able to get another sack from Tillman. I mean, Tillman is just the player of the game right now for Wesley. And here we go. So on a quick snap flood again. He does. Overload. Gets hit again. Who could have been the game right there? Third and 15. Let's see if Vols can do something about Tillman. That's what it's about right now. We talked about Wesley blocking the outside linebacker. With, I mean, what do we got right now, boys? Third and 15. Can you block Pat Tillman for America? He's going to half slide left right here. Big dot. Oh, you don't use gift wrap. That's what happens, boys. You don't use gift wrap, that's what happens. Sometimes the ball bounces off your hands. Here we go, that's tough. Fourth and 15 for Vos. motion's out. You know what he's looking for. Can Wesley make a play? He blitzes that side. Over the, oh my God, is Vos the luckiest ever? Oh, holy shit. I, I just used it to play perfect. I used it. 
You know, what you want to get, if you're at home watching those plays, boys, you want to get lurker on or lurk artists on your linebackers to go up there and animate on those type of plays. A big sack, a big tackle by, by Freeney in the backfield. So if you're having trouble over the middle of that lurker ability or lurk artist ability for one AP, second bucket, one AP will be able to make better plays right there. You can utilize that on Fred Warner. You can utilize that on uh, Diablo as well, boys. I mean, Wesley is just, I mean, Vols is just not blocking Pat Tillman right now. Pat Tillman is the only player with dirt on his arms in an indoor stadium. I've never seen this before, but Pat Tillman is playing so good that somehow he's found dirt on the AstroTurf of USAA field here, boys. Never seen it before until today for America. Good switch stick. Ooh. Here we go. Fourth and four. Vols. When in doubt, seam it out. Oh my goodness, dude. He is living. Vols is living on a tightrope right now. I've never seen a man stay alive more than Owen Vols. Under 40 seconds here. Fourth quarter. Tillman's coming for blood. Tillman and Freeney meet the quarterback again. I mean, Tillman is having himself a day. Whatever Vols did to stop Willie is just, I'm not asking that Discord ever again because apparently it was not it. Motions out, Icky Woods, the Icky Shuffle. Another seamer up the middle, third and one. Timeout again for Vols. He is 26 seconds away for an opportunity to tie the game. Nothing has phased him. He leans on the seam. He is the seam. But is he this moment? Flips the bunch to the left. Cunningham making the calls. Going corner strike for his bread. Can he block Pat Tillman? Third and one. One time out. Tillman again. Screaming down the middle. Absolutely unblockable right now. Fourth and one. He's converted two fourth downs already on this drive. Can he get three? Can he block Tillman? A wiser man than me once said, sometimes you just got to block the running back. And he's not doing that. Everybody out on fourth. Tillman gets blocked over the middle. Jackson Smith and Jigba dives to the 15-yard line. Owen Vos, the man with the glasses, the man with determination. The man with the moment in front of him. Can he land this touchdown? Out of timeouts. Tillman's coming again. Randall inside the 15 slides. Will he get the spike off? One play. One play. One seam. If there's any man that can pull this out, it's Owen Vose. If there's any man that knows where the hole in the defense is, it's Owen Norquist. Randall Cunningham in the bunch, drinking the punch, motions right to left. Jackson Smith snaps the ball. Tillman's coming. Post route. Possession catch. Touchdown. Hyatt. Big boy catch from Owen Norquist. A big boy drive. A man that was out. A man that was doubted. A man that was down to his last place now sits on the precipice of a tie. 24 to 22. What has he got? What does he have? Cunningham, trips tight end. Quick snap. Let's go. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go, baby. Vols, Vols gave us a great ending, boys. Great ending, great ending. GG's, GG's forever, GG's forever.